slow. Hello. Yes, sir. Arusto student have a participation at the form. It had to almost, uh, I think, seventy. Ah, people signing in. Okay.
Okay, so I think uh, my mother's sufficient number is to say, let us start the class. So, Ajke, we are going to look into sand casting. We were discussing casting last time. So, sand casting is an important initial section 10.1.2 of the upper, upper textbook group. So it has page number uh, 209. It essentially sand casting a detail about main main terms to the ball of Sand casting the the molde korafa, shita little parte thake, plaster, a bong a plaster with a side room of the sand thake. Upper part the holo coke. Drag. And they are contained in a box that's called the flask. Among a copper drag and mask, the pattern is placed, which uh, is the imprint. Later, on the ask a portion of it. There is in two parts, so definitely like a line okay, to the center, which is known as the parting line. Cavity ta barano hoy a pattern use for it. This pattern may be uh, consumable but non consumable. Non consumable jamanambra, cart, metal, plastic, shabdiya, we can make the part or we can make the pattern from wax. We put hot metal, the wax actually melts and evaporates. So we have to do it. When we know when metal will cool, it will shrink in size, thermal expansion and contraction, right? So we have calculation wise pattern is oversized pattern of it. So that when the metal cools inside the mold cavity, it cools down to and contracts to the uh, uh, to the size that is needed and specified in the engineering design. Uh, the mold and the sand used is moist and it a dhore rakhar jano binder used kora hai. Now let it be dry loose sand hai. It a to boshe thak jano. It will collapse and fall. And as you pour the material inside. You know, the metal usually, you know, or the casting, is uh, water and moisture evaporate. Amra the hollow part by inner cavity banatisai, then we keep what is known as a core inside the mold cavity so that the casting metal forms around it and later on we can remove the core so that uh, we can get the interior Hollow place. Uh, cores generally are also made of sand, but if we want better tolerance, then Amra Onokono higher refractory metal, the ceramic use for the body. Plastic can sometimes be used, but Monarakhovite uh, molten metal, the Halle for a most plastic will not last. So depending on the requirement, we have a core. Different type of baron of fire. There is a gating system like we talked about last time. Even a gating system, the Mitchen M. Spruce DHA, it goes along the runner and then enters into the uh, different cavity where it fills up and produces the mold part. Even usually at the top of the gating system, there is a pouring cup uh, to keep some reserve material. Uh, so that when the metal is uh, shrinking, that part is compensated by this riser. Uh, as the metal flows in, the air that was in the cavity uh, and any hot gases, these are evacuated to the actually the sand so that the uh, metal can cool and become one solid piece. 
natural porosity uh, of the sand permits the sort of air and gases to escape. Uh, on the other hand, permanent metal mold is body. Into the mold to which the uh, exhaust uh, the, the gases can uh, escape. So let us look at a picture. We can see the outer box that is the flask. It has a parting line, upper a takabalic coat, nature part takabalic drag. You have the moist sand with binder to preserve the shape of the sand. Inside, you have the mold cavity, actually metal to solidify for a shape and nibe. And you make this from some pattern. If you want the interior hollow, you put a core in it. This usually is a high refractory metal or a ceramic. We pour the molten metal to a pouring cup and it runs down a down spruce and then parallelly jive to a runner. And for reserve, we have a riser part. The actual material uh, product is actually this much. Later on, when we open, when it solidifies, achha, and as it is solidifying the gas and any trapped air in this uh, whole area, this actually escapes to the sand and outside. So that's the benefit. When we open the, uh, the flask, we break the sand, we remove it, and we will get this whole portion as the cast part. We can machine out this tail portion, remove the core, and then do some further machining to make the dimensions what we need. It might be a little bit bigger. So we make the dimensions we need. And then that becomes our molded part. Now, we try to make the part such that it is easy uh, and the thing will come out. So let's say if I have a core, if I do not need it exactly uh, your cylindrical, I might give some taper, like this taper, so that this core can be easily retracted. Or if not, then this has to be broken or cut out so that we get the interior hollow cap. So that is actually our sand cast part. Now, to do the calculations related to sand casting, we have to understand about the metal heating process. Metal heating is a process that is a boost. And if I may say, it is important you have to think that the metal is undergoing two parts, right? First, it is molten, it is in liquid form. So the liquid form will cool down until it reaches melting point or freezing point. Then it will actually release more heat, which is known as the latent heat of fusion or melting at that constant melting temperature. Then when all the latent heat is gone, it will convert from liquid to solid. Then since it's still hot, it will cool down more, but now it will cool as a solid. So I'm other heat concept, I'm other tinta part of Hakkut. Acta holo cooling during liquid phase, or acta holo uh, changing from liquid phase to solid phase, and then the third is cooling in the solid phase. So, uh, change of phase, amra bujhai latent heat here, uh, uh, cooling in one phase, we uh, use the constant of the material property that is known as the specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity may be different when the metal is a liquid versus when it is a solid. And it usually always is different for different metals. Hmm. So a pura jinista camera they have given you very nicely 
the heat energy required is the sum of the heat to raise the temperature to the melting point. That is the heat that should be released back to cool down. The heat of fusion or the latent heat to convert from solid to liquid phase. So that's the heat energy related to change of phase. And the heat to raise the molten metal to the desired temperature for pouring, which is known as your uh, liquid heat phase. So when the metal will cool, it will get rid of three, then two, then one, and it will uh, cool down to the temperature that we need. This is expressed very nicely by this equation. You can see rho density times V volume. So this volume times density is the mass of the metal. This is multiplied by the specific heat capacity of the solid material. And then there is a change in temperature from initial to up to the molten part. So this much gives you actually the heat related to uh, cooling down from liquid, uh, from hot solid to cool solid. Plus heat of fusion, this is related to the latent heat. Plus there is the heat contained within the mountain liquid, which will be cooling down to the uh, part of transition from liquid to solid. They can have a specific heat capacity of the liquid molten metal. So specific heat capacity for uh, metal, Cl, might be different from its specific heat capacity during solid Cs, C sub S. So this one liquid times the temperature difference again going from the liquid phase up to the melting point. So that total is the balance, energy balance. This is the amount of heat that must be given to melt the metal. And this is again the amount of heat that must go out of the metal before it cools down to the final form that we can remove from the mold. Why is this energy business so important to us? Well, because it's very simple. Energy means business. Energy means money. So let me open a new one. We can do the calculations there. It means business. It means money. Because to raise or lower raise temperature, we need energy. That is money. So that we can do it in a furnace. We can use a induction heater, so many ways, but we're actually spending money in that process. So let us do this work example steadily. This is example 10.1, heating metal for casting. Very simple example. Example of 10.1, heating metal for Casting. This is in the Hoover uh, textbook, page number one hundred ten. So I will expect that all of you do this with me as I am doing it. Treat it as if I am a whiteboard course and you follow along. I will share this note with you and later on practice some more similar problems from the exercise uh, related to this. Okay, so let's uh, copy the question from here. I'm going to question the copy for an hour later. Let me remove this to the side because I'm not going to call it. So let's read the question, then we will do the solution. Solution to this problem. One cubic meter of a certain eutectic alloy 
is heated in a crucible from room temperature to 100 degrees Celsius above its melting point for casting. So melting point for junto je liquid hoye tar por aro 100 degrees Celsius increase kora hoyeche. So it is a hot molten alloy. Now. The alloy's density is 7.5 grams per centimeter cube. Melting point is at 800 degrees Celsius. Specific heat capacity is this much in the solid state and this much in the liquid state. And the heat of fusion or latent heat is this much. Question is, how much heat energy must be added to accomplish the heating of this metal up to 100 degrees above melting point? Assuming that none of the heat energy is lost, all of it goes into melting and heating the metal. <coughs> so it's the same thing. And that is exactly the amount of energy that will again be taken out from the metal by the mold in order to cool it down to room temperature before we extract it from the mold. So again, exactly the same thing. We, we get the formula first. So let me give you the formula along with the equation number. The simple energy balance. Yeah. So what is that? Let's see. So I have, I need the heat H. Well, first I need density. And density is given, but density is given in grams per centimeter cube. So we have to convert that into kgs per meter cube, right? So 7.5 grams per centimeter cube. If you convert to uh, your kgs per meter cube, you have to multiply with 10 to the power 6. What is the volume? 1 cubic meter. So that's just 1. Then what we have inside this? Well, specific heat capacity in solid is this much in grams, right? Zero point three times temperature difference. Well, we were at room temperature, I assume that if not given around 25, and we have to go heat the metal up to the melting point, which is 800. So it will become 800 minus 25. This is this part. Let us check it because they have not given the unit whether they convert it to kgs per meter cube or they converted it to grams per meter cube. So let us check this. There is an easy technique and I will show you the technique. Unit conversion. Uh, we are given 7.5 grams per centimeter cube. The density. So grams. I guess it per, per one centimeter cube. It is called a line mole method. So I have to convert the cc into meter cube. Well. One centimeter, if I want to convert it to uh, your meter cube, I'll have, I want to convert this 
one centimeter cube and I want to have instead of one centimeter cube here, I want to have one meter cube over here. So what is one meter? One meter is 100 centimeter or 10 to the two. So one meter cubed is 10 to the power six centimeter cubed. You see, so they didn't convert the gram. This is only conversion of the one from gram per centimeter to gram per meter. Now, centimeter cube, centimeter cube cancels. It's one of no value. So this becomes, you just multiply the top, multiply the bottom. 7.5 grams, 7.5 grams times 10 to the Six. <coughs> Bottom of the One times one is one. It is just meet. So line mole method says that they have the final mixed unit of seven point five times ten to the power six grams per meter cube. So that is what they have put here. They should have mentioned this, but the unit is skipped. So we know now how to convert the A line mole method. You can simply convert anything and never make a mistake. Okay, then volume bottom one meter cube, then a part of gallo. So now we need the heat of fusion, HF. That's uh, <coughs> uh, given here. 160 joules per gram. Remember, latent heat is so no temperature change. Hana. So we don't need this part, temperature difference. It's just the heat energy. Plus, again, Cl, which is 0 0.29. That T0 month at 25. Now, so usually the West they usually take the room temperature, uh, room temperature around 25. It's just room temperature kathabul change. You might also consider 30. Fine. You will get a different value. That's okay. As long as you mention your yeah, it's fine. Acha, then uh, because it's just assumption. Now mention You mention we can take 30, 32 is also, but usually. Room temperature means 25. Now, what is this difference? Well, once in the molten form, then we go up 100 degrees Celsius. So this is 100. In liquid stage, we go up 100 degree more. Then close, don't forget to close the second bracket. And if you do all the calculations together, you get Three, 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 five. TP at TMA, the uh, difference is 100. Hmm? That temperature my TP minus TM, it is difference is 100. That's it. Can you hold Don't take my word for it. It is up to melting. The melting temperature is 800. Once it is taken, it is taken actually from room temperature to 100 degrees above, above its melting point. So melting point for Juntoto, Atsho. It asks the key cottobe, Protomes metal take heat cottobe from room temperature to melting, it's 800. Then to this, but it still be solid, hot solid. Then we have to add heat of fusion. But that will just make it liquid at 800. But then we have to go actually from room temperature to 100 degrees above the melting point. So that means the melting point, the TP, the liquid part, the final temperature, theta is 
above 100. So actually TP was 900. actually but so the difference is actually 100, which we put here. And so this is the answer. So you see a lot of energy is needed actually. is just one meter cube of the material. So much energy is needed. It's actually mega joules, right? I mean, 3.33 giga joules. A lot of energy. All this heat energy has to go out before the metal can cool down to room temperature inside the mold. Akon, Arecta Jinishatse, Sheta Hotse, pouring. This is also very important. <coughs> heating the metal, which is related to the energy. That is important because energy equates directly with money. So uh, energy is important. But uh, we have another type that uh, is also important, which is your... Also with an Mexican, right? Okay, sorry about that. So let me give page number. So when I share, it's easier for you. All right. So eta to act energy calculation system. Excuse me. This is easy because it's a scalar equation. Uh, but eta amadino put jorudi because uh, heat energy is related to how much I have to heat, melt, and all those. That's related to the process planning also. Pardon? Energy equals to money. Now, there's another part, which is the flow. So, heating part of the thermodynamics wrong. What is the next part? Well, definitely the next part is your pouring. And what is that related to? Well, that is related to your fluid mechanics, right? So, I can tell you discuss for it, after can ask for, but I'm going to lift it up to you. It will be, uh, it will be on the pouring part. On the metal. And this is the fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics. What can I do? Maybe we should have an If you go up, this is the mold, right? Usually, I can shape it fine. We pour the metal here. And we are Thinking to have molten metal pour, pour, lamita, shundo, moto, cholegalo, fill up, pour, low, and everything cool down. It's not so easy. There are certain things here. One, flow itself can be different type. And I am a class A. If we just put a bottle to the pani dhala shuma, we have noticed that bottle jock ticket out there is easier, but bottle the mostly choto hot is difficult. Tapore, then it becomes very difficult and liquid actually comes out in gulps, right? Because as the liquid is emptying from the bottle, air is trying to get it. Our amidity could sharp up at the angle high, the liquid actually jumps out, right? In sparks. So it forms almost semi turbulent. 
আর আমি যদি স্টেডিলি লিকুইড পড়ি ফ্রম দ্য বটল ইন টু দ্য আই পোর ইট ইন টু দ্য গ্লাস ইট ইজ দিস ভেরি গুড স্টেডি ল্যামিনার ফ্লো তাহলে জিনিসটা তো একই মেটালের ক্ষেত্রে আই এম পোরিং মল্টেন মেটাল ইনসাইড ক্যাভিটি আর এখানে আবার আরেক সমস্যা হচ্ছে যে এটার ভিতরে এয়ার পকেটস আছে and you also see that the liquid is going in from a bigger surface down to a narrow surface then again it's turning there's a big reservoir here it's going here and expanding again here so each of turns and bends and expansions these also affect the flow of the metal now kichu kichu metal er khetre hoyto easy but some other metals may be very viscous uh during liquid phase so that's a problem and unless the flow is smooth i mean fully amar cavity ta shundor bhabe fill up korte parbo na or jeta hobe je while trying to pour i might lose some of the metal it might spill out or something and i don't want to do that because well usually amra kas kore je sob jinish banai metal ba alloys diye they are expensive i don't want to waste them if i don't have so it's a no pouring of molten metal is a very important part and it is related to dilution and it is also related to both the manufacturing side of casting and also related to the process planning side am ki bhabe eta korbo that is related to the process planning also. so pouring temperature pouring rate turbulence these are all very important parts amra to eigula kichu bollam turbulence er bapar ta bollam pouring rate er sathe abar turbulence related how fast and slow i'm pouring but i would want to pour it very fast to reduce the time right joto slow korbo toto shomoy lagbe toto beshi shomoy proyojon hobe casting e and any time i am taking time during any manufacturing i'm wasting actual money so i want to speed that up but there is a limit and then there is the pouring temperature it can actually bola hoy je viscosity sathe related if you notice the last problem amra je korlam you might ask je sir at 800 degrees celsius we when we provide the heat and the fusion energy it's already molten why do i go up another 100 degrees is that's going to waste energy right in heating up so it is this, this whole part right here 0.29 into 100 or uh, 29 joules per gram that energy why are we wasting it because at the two ratio 160 percent actually so we have liquid form so why this extra energy business that is because of what is related to the pouring temperature amra eta অনেকে হয়তো নোটিস করেছে এখন অনেক সময় যেটা হয় যে অয়েলটা যদি কমপ্লিটলি ফ্রাইং প্যানটাকে ওয়েট না করে সব জায়গায় যদি না যায় Well, as I'm making the omelet, it might get stuck somewhere on the frying pan, unless it is non-stick. And that's a problem. So the idea is first to have the oil such that it wets and coats the whole inside surface of the pan before I put the egg. Now, consider a cold day. Consider a cold day. The oil, as you start to pour, মাঝখানে জায়গায় এসে থাকে even if you swing the pan around if you if you tilt it and wiggle it 
it doesn't really flow all over. It kind of gets stuck, sort of, doesn't want to move and doesn't wet the whole pan. If the egg falls outside the oil, it's a problem, it'll get stuck. But if the oil is the egg, it's oil, so it's oily. That's a problem. So what usually people do is when they pour the oil in the pan, then they heat it, they heat it for some time, maybe at a lower temperature. And then as you heat the oil, you notice something different. If to gorom kolle pan in the oil, ki hai? Any of you have noticed? What do you what have you seen? ভিসকসিটি Viscosity is defined as the resistance to motion of the oil or anything inside the oil or any fluid. So, when the temperature varies, usually any liquid and viscosity comes out, it really flows. It flows easy. Then, when the oil has wet the pan, you can put the egg and you can cook it at a higher temperature. So, that's the trick. And if some of you next time you cook or something, you get a chance, you can experiment with what I'm saying. You see what I mean. So that is how temperature should be discussed is related. So now do you understand why Amra Atro degree then melt Korefalar Poreo, we're increasing the temperature of the alloy higher because we want to increase flowability. Or reduce viscosity of the metal. And that helps with pouring and flowing of the metal. So, factors that affect our pouring operation are pouring temperature, pouring rate, and turbulence. Pouring temperature to define P, it is the temperature. Let us highlight this because these are important. Pouring temperature is the temperature of the molten metal as it is introduced into the mold or the temperature needed to nicely and efficiently put the metal in the mold. And as they have said that the melting point is usually much lower than the uh, pouring point because pouring point I want not only molten metal but I want free flowing. Next, another thing is the pouring rate. It refers to the volumetric rate at which the molten metal is poured into the mold. Okay? Volumetric rate. So, if the pouring rate is too slow, metal will chill and freeze before filling the cap. You remember the ami melt kochi, tarpore ami heat kochi, so that it is more flowable, viscosity is less. But do remember also that metals are usually very good conductors of heat. I mean, you could ask us the how to find it. First, the metal will start to cool down. It will no longer be at the convenient pouring temperature, jekhane or viscosity cob. So it will not want to fill up and flow into the mold. Another is that your uh, pouring rate if it is too slow, since metal is a good conductor of heat, most metals are, it will rapidly lose heat and start to cool down. So, when the molten the temperature from the pouring point, a pouring temperature, then it becomes thick and that causes a problem. And it solidifies before it reaches the inner cavity of the mold, then you don't get the proper shape of the part. You have to do the process again. That is expensive because you have to heat up and that takes money. On the other hand, pouring rate, if it's too excessive, then I'm just going to bottle the water. If you tilt the water, what will happen? 
the flow is no longer laminar, laminar, it's turbulence. And turbulence is in fluid, is characterized by very random or erratic variations in magnitude and direction of the velocities. In other words, the flow is half a circle. You don't want that because there'll be spillage, loss of liquid, and all kinds of things. It is agitated flow rather than smooth and streamlined laminar flow. You want to be within the laminar flow to fill up the mold better. You can think of I mean, the bottle there could I treated how the guy there is turbulent flow and all and bathashir karone, there is bubbles inside. Some of the water will spill outside the glass or the cup. So it a panikati shamoshana, but Think of molten metal spinning outside the mold. One is it's dangerous, two is you're losing precious metal. So I'm not turbulence for the China. So basically, basically, after halaja bana metal jome jabe, basically jorosh halaja bana turbulence mode chole bolle. So and there are some problems with turbulences. With I think you can read this part. That'll be better. Uh, yeah. That's about it for the molten metal pouring part. So, it was another concept. Then we will go into the fluid mechanics analysis of pouring. So, a por junto. Any question? No. Wow. Because this is so. Involved, right? Heat at say thermodynamics such a flow at say fluid mechanics such a but all of you are okay with it. Just check for a second. Yes, sir. I'm a bujle, then we can proceed with the fluid mechanics part. Okay, so if you have understood this, let's go to the part where we discuss about the fluid mechanics and then we do the math problem. So this section is also important, the analysis of pouring, which is basically fluid mechanics. So flow of liquid metal through gating and mold system, the most important thing is actually Bernoulli's equation. So Bernoulli ke chilo, anyone? Amra shabai taki ne kub birokto karan onek beshi Bernoulli portha shab jakaya, but anyone know who was Bernoulli? Ah, very good. Euler, Bauer, on a He was the main guy who found this. Bernoulli was also an accomplished mathematician, but he actually utilized that. I don't know why it's known as the Bernoulli's theorem, but uh, it has prevailed. Um, Bernoulli's equation is related almost everywhere with fluid flow. It includes liquid and gases. And if you're talking about fluid flow in pipes, fluid flow in uh, air flow, if you're talking about wind tunnel, wind effect, if you're talking about aerofoil in plane, they have a lift generate for a plane as wing run. Shop is related. These, all these things are related to Bernoulli's theorem. So Bernoulli's theorem is related to actually fluid flow. And essentially Bernoulli's theorem, which is derived from Euler's and is essentially an energy conservation equation. Just like I'm going to call the heat balance, that's an energy conservation equation. So this is also an energy conservation equation, but as applied to fluid flow instead of heat conservation. And it essentially talks about three main types. And I mean, I mean, review Kochi, Kichu, Kapoy, General Hotel, Biroko, whatever. But the thing is, I think J. Floyd Karaneta, review Kurna Bhalo, Amata Rakrai to our revise, and we can relate it to our present study. So essentially, it talks about three main types of energy and one type of loss. The three main types are your pressure head or the hydrostatic pressure driving the fluid, normal pressure, and the kinetic energy. 
and with this comes change. Usually the flow is inside pipes or containers of some sort, open channel hook, but closed channel hook, bottle take a hook, but pouring in from a ladle inside a cavity. There are some solid walls of the container. And walls are not smooth. There are microscopic uh, uh, roughness. And that actually hinders or hampers the fluid flow. So there is some loss of the energy as frictional energy. But the Bernoulli's theorem says that, hey, energy is always conserved. So at any two point in a fluid flow, these four things should sum up to be same. At any point inside the fluid flow, it should be same. So therefore, the energy will just be changing shape or form. It might be going from frictional loss to kinetic, from head loss to pressure, like that. And this equation is very important. That is, of course, the Bernoulli's equation. And uh, if you want further uh, if you want <coughs> further explanation, you can also read from the fluid mechanics book or just uh, see a video. It's very simple. but I'm just overall review because we need this. You have the pressure head driving the flow. You have pressure inside the liquid itself. Pressure inside a liquid is essentially because of gravity. All fluids have density, therefore weight, and therefore gravity. Plus the kinetic energy part. You understand it from the V squared term. And the loss part, which is friction. Any other point inside the flow of the fluid the same four in different amounts should sum up to be equal to this first one. And this equation must be preserved because otherwise we will violate conservation of energy. So that's essentially it. And on a Barney's equation case, simplify a different way. The Jamon pipe loss ignore for a so egula porle for a you can get it down to this which is very good actually because you're talking about pressure head and flow pressure head and flow this can be used to determine the velocity of the molten metal at the base of the spruce because molten metal is like a fluid. So if I define one as the top of the spruce and B2 as its base, point two is used as the reference plane, then the head at the point is H2 minus H2 equals zero. If we consider point two, we consider that as the zero level. So then pressure head is zero. And pressure head depends on head or height. H uh, and H1 is the height length of the spruce. Yeah. So, it a whole spruce cell height itself the H1, how much it is falling the liquid. So, that should be equal to the height of the spruce. When metal poured into uh, pouring cup and overflow, overflows down the spruce, it is its initial velocity at the top is zero. Hence, we can reduce it to this sort of a simplified shape. And this can be solved not only for pressure head, but we can manipulate it and we can get velocity is equal to root over GH. Okay, now, <clears throat> velocity, Amadeto, Pouring cup spruce bottom If we consider velocity as at the base of the cup, g as the acceleration and height as the height of the spruce, 
which determines the head. Uh, all these things, we can have a link with the continuity law. What is the continuity law? This is the continuity law. It says that, well, liquid usually, gas at least compared to liquid, it just doesn't disappear. It has to flow in, then it has to flow out of a point. So therefore the uh, volumetric flow rate is equal to the velocity of flow at any point times the area of the cross section. Similarly, another point here, it will be its velocity and cross section. And since flow, a uh, mass flow has to be preserved, otherwise you're saying mass is disappearing. So that continuity equation is used. Now, assuming all these things, the volume rate of flow through the gate and into the molten cavity, we can return it and find a formula AV. Uh, Baki J flow, that one, flow inside the mold filling and how much time we need, that is represented by this equation. The equation to Kuhi shows V is the mold cavity volume, total volume that needs to be filled. Q is the volume flow rate. So if I divide how much volume needs to be filled by how fast is the fluid volume flow, then that is your time taken for milli. It's as simple as that. Now let us also color this. So T sub MF is the mold filling time. The mold filling time compared by equation, this must be uh, in, uh, considered a minimum time. This is because the analysis ignores friction loss and possible constriction of flow in the in the grating system. Thus, the molding filling time will be longer, longer than what is given by equation this. What I also say is pipe friction is not so, I'm not saying flow time like a calculator for certain to slow other, but because pipe and the friction are bend us all those things, but it should be more or less near to what we need. So, this is the last problem. We will do this problem and then we will end for today because airport Amra actually chose uh, another topic and we have spent some time on the casting and eh? then uh, casting column welding column so now we have to go to the other side which is machine so come the next class course so up to this you should read at home also so let's do this any question I mean, example number page number two, did you see you practice more similar problems from the end of the book? All right. Okay. So, what's the solution? All right. So, let's read the question. A mold spruce is 20 centimeters long and the cross section area at its base at the bottom where it tapers out is 2.5 in centimeters square. The spruce feeds a horizontal runner leading into a mold cavity whose volume is 1560 centimeters cube. Determine the velocity of the molten metal at the base of the spruce 
volume rate of flow and time left to fill the mold. So let's bring that picture again. But that picture will help us. Now, <clears throat> sorry, huh? I have a cold sometimes uh, voice. Ah, here. Okay. So I make a nilam. Let me add it here. It a problem, but we can refer to this picture. Huh? It will actually help us understand. So, I can keep it. I can see the this portion from here to maybe here. This is the length of the spruce. And as you pour the molten metal, it flows down here. So a bottom part of the area is known and we want to find the speed. Velocity of metal at the base of the spruce. Sir, horizontal jeta with a spruce, sir? No. It all spruce, horizontal jeta, it is called a runner. It runners. You can see in the label. Let me show you. Good question. This should be clarified. A lomba on shota jeta to taper. It a kebole down spruce plus spruce. Our jeta lomba horizontal. It a kebole runner. Photo thakte if you ever bought action figure ba orokom jinish ba khelna jigle assemble kora jaye. You often saw the aromata frame and mode the Daohotona part gula. You may can a match connect a line and mode the factor and a from branch and mode the shape branches that they will your parts were connected. So this is one part, maybe Gadi that is Taka and another part. You are from Kore can a connect for a and these things were very narrow. They take it to Gurale bring it to last of the part. The part. So this one is the runner, the main part that is the runner. These are small channels, and Egola actually molded with the one. So then when they took it out, they gave you as a as just as it is. So that's why it looked like that. So a panel type a horizontal part of the runner, and the flow fluid has to flow in and flow like this. And fill up the vacuum and uh, uh, the void. And now, why is pouring important? Because of the time. I mean, they can pour for a can ask the monic shomalagi. The metal probably will solidify here before entering. Then, to put a genish type gone. So, you know, volume rate of flow is important. That determines how fast it will go and fill up and the time to fill the mold from there. That is very important. That's the, the, the that's, those are the parts. So you can refer to this diagram, although this is not part of the uh, problem here, but uh, math problem, but you can refer to it. So let's uh, do this math. First, A. It is the velocity I have to find at this spruce base is velocity at the bottom of the blue space. Well, what is the velocity given by equation 10.4? Flow equation, right? Which is derived from Bernoulli's equation. So let me just uh, write the equation here. That's the equation. 
velocity of the fluid V is equal to root over 20H. All right. So it am going use curve to find the velocity at the bottom of the screws. It's basically what? Free falling of the, because friction is nice, it's related to free falling of the liquid because the molten metal is free falling down due to gravity, which is root over 20H. And let's see what we calculate. Put over two, two times G twelve. G is nine point eight one, but we are doing in centimeter. So centimeters per second per second. Uh, G is nine eighty one times whose length given twenty centimeters. So overall we get one. Nine eight point one point one centimeters per second. This is the speed with which we fall to the bottom or at the mouth of the runner. Next. Volume ratio of flow. Volume rate of flow. This is velocity of the flow, not the volume rate of flow. Volume rate of flow, the equation the Q. The volume rate of flow is equal to velocity times area. Well, what is the area and what is the velocity? Well, Velocity I have found right here, one, nine, eight, point one, times the uh, cross-sectional area, which is given of the spruce is 2.5 at the base, 2.5 centimeter square is equal to 495, 495 centimeter square per second. Centimeter square per second. Hello, we're done with two. So the third part C. This is the time taken to fill up the mold cavity, which is 100 inch cube at the given flow rate of this. Well, uh, let's go to the uh, calculation formula. Bring the formula again. Sir, Q where I got a centimeter cube per second, sir. You are right. There's a mistake in the book. Yes, you're right. And velocity that's a centimeters per second. Area to centimeter square. Uh, so there's a mistake in the book. Uh, volumetric flow rate to volume. Which is the cubic, that makes sense. For some reason, boy, can't Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if I can paste it right there. So, time to fill up the mold. So, go on the next page. This is the time to fill up the mold. And what is this equal to? Well, what is the volume of the mold? So time to fill up the mold. What's the volume of the mold? Volume of the mold is 100 inch cube. So centimeter of uh, one five zero centimeter cube 
divided by flow rate, we just found 495. 495 centimeter cube per second. You can give an answer of 3.2. Okay, at a fifteen sixty kilohertz pillow, let us check the conversion from inch to centimeter on, on the internet. Just to be sure, at the one inch is. 2.54 centimeters. So one inch cube will be 2.54 inch cube and a thin bar, so cubic. That is how much is one inch cube. No, I don't know, ask them. Uh, we are right, 1638, right? So 100 inch cube, which is 100 times this, should be 1638, not 1560. So there is a mistake. Please correct it. It will not be 1560, but so it will be. One inch cube, sixteen point three nine, sixteen thirty nine. Yeah, four hundred sixteen thirty nine centimeter cube. By theta is four ninety five. And then gives uh, not 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 this should be more. So that should be how much times hundred. Converting this divided by four nine five three point three two. Uh, this mistake here three point three two and seconds. No matter the second of the project. Yes, any question? Later on, give you this one. Example 10.2, 10 10.1, and 10.2. Okay. So, one question, I say, if I may. Nine. Okay. So, let me save this. I'm done.
So, we are done with this. Mm. Asking part later on, we'll be finishing. So the question last, okay. So, you people, please get ready. Amra Tahle Akon attendance can you go? I see that many of you are missing today or absent. So, that's a problem, but. So please get ready. We will start taking the attendance. Uh, everyone, uh, please set your microphone. We will take uh, online because we will take online. And if any of you know one of your friends, uh, maybe some problem or something, let me know about that. Huh? Okay, so we'll start. Let me bring up the MCAT. Okay. Okay, so I think all of you are ready. I got the MCAM uh, also. Let's start with PCP uh, one. Okay. I'm going to put a class to explain. Sir, I'm going to screen the Okay, sorry. I'm going to class starting. Welcome to you. 1245, no? Ah, 1245 to 140. First class, okay. We just rebutted. Okay, Mahmoud Islam. Present, sir. Mustafa Rahman Abib. Present, sir. Uh, Mahmoud Al-Mehran Mukto. Present, sir. Islam Shihab. Lieutenant Rakibul, he absent or any problem? Present, sir. Uh, Rahan Kobir. Present, sir. Rahan Rahman Rai. Present, sir. Asanul Sadiq. Present, sir. Ikaruddin Siam. Present, sir. Asin Tahni. Yes, sir.
yang sudah diada. I think some of your names are also in my uh, B16 instrumentation, but a class to to up another name, right? That's it. They don't need to office a possible cover because your name is there and that might cause problems. I am coming with the Namar say it may cause problems. So one of you can go and talk to the department about this. Please get it fixed. Yeah, ME361 instrumentation, but you are not enrolled in the course. Although absent, better happen or something like that. Okay, so that's done with 51. Let me go to 53, section A. Adding attendance. Then the first class from 1240 to 140. Apple Mahmoud. Yes, sir. Mahmoudul Hassan. Yes, sir. Fahad Inayat. Yes, sir. Faisal Imran Shkofa. Present, sir. Selim Al Razi. Present, sir. Sheikh Abdullah Al Kamal. Present, sir. Rajbin Al Shafa. Present, sir. Abdul Ahmed Ridwan. Present, sir. Uh, Captain Rasul Ahmed Bunia. Present, sir. Abdullah Zubair. Sir, CMH, sir. Oh, Uni, Arholo Mahmoud Alum. Sir, I'm a present, sir. Roll five present, sir. Oh, so present. Access to your name. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Alum Gil, sir. Present, sir. Shishir Khan. Present, sir. Okay. Yasin Abra. Present, sir. Farhan Sadiq. Present, sir. Mahima Ahmed Mim. Present, sir. Abdul Hasib Hassan Dair. Present, sir. Safai Islam. Yes, sir. Sheikh Salman Rahim Ripat. Present, sir. Niyaz Mahmoud Zahir. Yes, sir. Mustafa Jawad Itmam. Yes, sir. Mashur Jehan Nirjan. Present, sir. Rajib Tahsin Bina. Yes, sir. Rahat Rahman. Rahat Rahman. Uh, Mr. Rahat Rahman. Salehin Mustakim. Yes, sir. Fardin Ibn Ashraf. Yes, sir. Jamil Haq. Yes, sir. Niaz Mahmoud Amin. Yes, sir. Anim, sorry. Aisha Siddiqa. Yes, sir. Sadia Islam Lam. Yes, sir. Kohak Zaman. Yes, sir. Abdullah Al Faru. Yes, sir. Irin Jahan Ifti. Yes, sir. Shikta Ahmed. Yes, yes sir. Tanvir Ahmed. Yes, sir. Rokia Begum. Yes, sir. Abdir Ahmed Faisal. Yes, sir. The response on Rahat Rahman, roll number 27. Okay. So now section B, Naimul Hassan. Yes, sir. Mahmoudul Hassan. Present, sir. Mahbubur Rahman. Mahmoud Mahbubur Rahman. So Mahbubur Rahman and Mike problem, sir. sir. Roll for present, sir. Mike, roll for present, sir. Shoheb Ahmed Oku. Present, sir. Imru Kais. Present, sir. Nabiha Norin Hawk. Present, sir. Anika Tabassum. Present, sir. Nabila Kamal Nova. 
Nabila Kamal Nova. Roll number 14, Miss Nova. Saiful Islam Shago. Yes, sir. Um, sir, no one net to like roll 14 inch, sir. Sir, section A key leave me to park, sir. Hey, section A can go. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Salam. Abul Kalam Azad. Yes, sir. Mustafa Rafi. Yes, sir. Akib Ahmed. Yes, sir. Gali Yasir Rahman. Yes, sir. Musa Jahan Reshma. Yes, sir. Yes. Ramesha, Ramesha, sorry, Ramesha. Mustafa Al Faisal. Yes, sir. Mahtab bin Rashid. Yes, sir. Mustad Akila Tushi. Yes, sir. Fahim Faisal. Yes, sir. Tazi Rubai Hussein. Yes, sir. Abdullah Al Adi. Yes, sir. Mahdi Hassan. Present, sir. Nahim Ibn Akbar. Yes, sir. Zahid Hassan Shuho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nafil Islam. Yes, sir. Sayed Tanjit Mahmud. Yes, sir. Rahel Imam Rocky. Yes, sir. Takfir Rahman. Mahmud Takfir Rahman, roll 58. Takfir Rahman, are you present? Yes, sir. Takfir Rahman, yes, sir. Mustafizur Rahman, Joy. Yes, sir. Naimul Siddhi. Yes, sir. All are present. Good. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Walaikum salam. Section A, sir, 27. Sir, I'm disconnected. Islam. Second, I made a DNA. Start with that. Uh, what is that? What is that? So you are in section A. Roll number 27. Rahat yes, Rahman. Yes, sir. 27, yes. Thank you, sir. Asalaamu Alaikum. Okay. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. Okay. Thank you, class. I am going to video gula upload for the document gula the video. Inshallah, uh, and then again, see you next class. Our Ekhane Che, Amra Miss Korechi Monehar Dika class, Dika class. We finish the makeup for her before midterm. So, switch over at a time. Amaka Pol, Japan, we can do this. All right. I'll try to adjust my schedule so they wait a midterm and agi. But midterm for only Dr. Syme, I will teach you. So, we don't know. Thank you. Have a nice day.